Hey guys, Nick here with an After Effects tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to track 2D uh, text in a image or in a video. So what we're going to do to start is just look at this clip. I'm going to scan through here. You can see that it's just a guy talking on the phone. Uh, video chat probably and we can see it's got a panning background so um, I've got a couple things already going on here and just want to cover those so basically the first thing is obviously the footage I've dragged that in to create a new comp and it created this here uh, we've got a 2d motion track composition and I've added a null object and the way you can do that is go up to layer new and then null object that will create a null in here and I rename that to tracker and you're going to see why here in just a second. So first what we want to do is pick our layer and make sure we're in a layer, um, layer, uh, not in the actual composition itself because in a layer you can see that we have these options in the layer you want to be able to track the motion. So if you don't see this, you can go up to window and tracker. That's going to bring up this area. Now what we're going to do today is track motion. So basically any motion that's in the shot that we're taking, that's what we're going to see. So if we click on track motion, we get this track point. Now you can adjust these to make them as big or as small as you'd like. Just keep in mind the bigger it is, the more resources it's going to use for your computer because it's going to do a more detailed analysis. So let's bring this over to a point that has some pretty high contrast, like this little white area here. If we scrub through, we can see that if we try to pick anything, I was going to go for this point here, but his head eventually covers that area. So you want to pick something on the side for this individual clip. And I'm going to pick that right there. So now what I want to do is go through a couple of these options. We're going to do current track is tracker one. If you had multiple trackers, you could have one, two, or three. We're just going to leave it on transform and position. And then we're going to click edit target. We want to make sure that this layer is our tracker layer. And that's where it's going to assign the keyframes to. So let's go ahead and click this play button. And that's going to track this area all the way through. I didn't make it very big so that I uh, didn't use a lot of resources for my computer. Computer. So it's going to track this all the way through and when we're done, we can just click the stop. Uh, I'm going to let it run for just a few more minutes here, or seconds I should say. And now we're going to stop it here because I'm going to have a video footage there. Now what you want to make sure to do, it's very, really important, is click this apply button because what that does is it'll apply the X and Y dimensions uh, of your video. So we're going to click OK and now that's going to apply all of these keyframes from this tracker into this layer this tracker layer. So if we go to the transform, we can see that all the position layers were assigned there. So if we scrub through our footage, we see that we have this null object and it's scrolling through. We can see that it moves along with the layer. All right, so what do we do now? Well, we can play it back and make sure that everything looks smooth. Uh, we can scrub through and make sure everything looks smooth. Now what I've got is this shy mode. If I click on here, I've got another layer here that I'm gonna turn on. And all it is is some video footage that I've taken. Uh, it looks like somebody else is on a video call. I've put a stroke around it. So if we drop these down, I've got a couple layer styles, a drop shadow and a stroke. So the stroke is the white edge, and then I've got a drop shadow, which if I turn that off and on, you can see just kind of gives a little bit of a 3D effect. So what we want to do is take our uh, keyframes from this tracker, and we want to apply those to this video so it will move along with that null object. So how do we do that? We take this thing called a pick whip and assign it to the tracker. So what that'll do is all these keyframes, this is going to this is going to have that as its parent. So it's going to do whatever this layer does. So now if we scroll through, we can see that it moves along with those keyframes. Now I didn't start the tracker until about right here. So if we'd like to do anything before that, you can always go into the layer and use that tracker and use this reverse to go back even further and it will track the keyframes. You can stop it. It's going to stop at the beginning of the layer and then I'm going to click apply and do the same thing there. So now if I scroll through, it's going to go even from the beginning of the footage. So uh, what can we do now? Well, I can take this and I can change the scale of, scale of it if I'd like, if I want to make it bigger uh, or smaller. So I'm going to put it about right there um, and then we can just hit play and see how it tracks through the image there. So it looks like 
you know, he's talking to her. And uh, this is pretty basic example. You can do a lot more things to make this look a little bit more realistic. Um, but for here, we just want it to go with the pan of the screen. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is one of the most powerful features in After Effects because you can take and track the motion in any clip that you have and apply text. You can apply uh, another layer. You can have, you know, this is another video file. You can have any other layer that you put in After Effects. You can track it in there and make it look more realistic and that it's actually in the scene. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in and be sure to subscribe to the channel so I can bring you guys even more tutorials. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.